Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem. It says at the school fair, Jimmy and Ricky had juice dolls. Jimmy sold 160 glasses, each containing 265 milliliters of juice, while Ricky sold 30 bottles, each containing 1.325 liters of juice. Who sold a greater volume of juice? All right, so there was a school fair and Jimmy and Ricky had juice trolls. Jimmy sold some amount of juice and Ricky sold some amount of juice. And we have to find out who sold more juice, okay, or greater volume of juice. So let's uh, find out. So let's first make a model for the amount or the volume of juice that Jimmy sold. Okay, so what Jimmy sold was, Jimmy sold 160 glasses of, of juice. So this is Jimmy and this block over here is the volume of juice that Jimmy sold. Okay, now he sold 160 glasses. Okay, so if this is one glass, then its volume is equal to 265 milliliters, right? So each of these little units is 265 milliliters and in all they are 160 in number. So if this is glass number one, this is glass number two, this is glass number three, four and so on, then this will be glass number 160, okay? And each of these is 265 ml, okay? Now let's also put some color. So Jimmy's juice is pink, maybe pink guava. All right. Now, while Jimmy was selling uh, juice in glasses, what Ricky was doing was he was uh, selling juice in bottles. And what he sold was he sold 30 bottles of juice containing 1.325 liters of juice each. Now, I don't know which one of these two blocks will be bigger. So I'm uh, just assuming for now that Jimmy sold more. So I'm making Ricky's slightly smaller, okay? Now, it doesn't really matter, okay, which one uh, you make bigger or smaller because this is just representative. It's not actual. All right, so Ricky sold 30 bottles, each containing 1.325 liters of juice. So if this is the block that represents the amount or the volume of juice that Ricky sold, then we can break this block into smaller blocks and each of the smaller blocks is equal to one bottle, okay? And we know that Ricky sold 30 bottles, so let's label these smaller blocks. This is one, this is two, this is three, and this would be bottle number 30. All right, and each bottle contained 1.325 liters of juice. All right, so each bottle contained 1.325 liters of juice, and there were 30 bottles altogether. All right, so here's the model and uh, let's uh, find out what they are equal to. All right, so let's see what this pink block is equal to and let's also find out what this blue block is equal to. All right, so if Jimmy sold 160 bottles, each containing 265 milliliters of juice, then how much juice did he sell altogether? Well, he sold 160 times 265 milliliters, right? That's how much he sold altogether. So that would be equal to 160 times 265. Let's use a calculator. So 160 times 265 milliliters is equal to 42400. So it's equal to 42,400 milliliters. All right, so this is equal to 42,400 milliliters, and this is this pink block over here. All right, now let's find out how much Ricky sold. Well, Ricky sold 30 bottles, each containing 1.325 liters of juice, and that would give us a total of 30 times 1.325 liters of juice. Well, how much is that equal to? Let's calculate. So we have 30 times 1.325, okay? And that's equal to 39.75. So this is 39.75 liters. Now do note that these two units are different, okay? This is 42,400 milliliters. Well, this is 39.75 liters. Now, if you want to compare these two, okay, this guy over here with this guy over here, then we have to first make sure that they are both in the same unit. 
Now, how about we convert the volume that Ricky sold into milliliters? Okay, so let's convert this liter to milliliter. Now we know that one liter, all right, one liter is equal to one thousand milliliters. So then, how much is thirty-nine point seven five liters equal to? Well, thirty-nine point seven five liters will then be equal to thirty-nine point seven five times one thousand. Okay, and all this is in milliliters. And 39.75 times 1,000 means we have to move the decimal point three places to the right. So what you would get is you would get 39750 milliliters. All right, so 39,750 milliliters is how much this blue block is equal to. All right, so this blue block is equal to 39,750 milliliters. While we know that the pink block, okay, this guy over here is equal to 42,400 milliliters. So it's quite obvious that Jimmy sold more juice or Jimmy sold a greater volume of juice than Ricky and that's your answer. Now you could have also chosen uh, to convert this guy to liters instead of converting this guy to milliliters. So what you would have done in that case would be to convert 42,400 milliliters to liters. Now what is 42,400 milliliters equal to in liters? Let's do the calculation here, okay? Okay, I'm doing the calculation at the top. Now we know that 1,000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter which means that 1 milliliter is equal to 1 divided by 1,000. Okay, and all this is in liters. All right, so if 1 milliliter is equal to 1 divided by 1,000, then how much is 42,400 milliliters equal to? Well, 42,400 milliliters is obviously then equal to 42,400 divided by 1,000. Okay, and all this is in liters. And that's equal to... The decimal point being shifted three places to the left and that would give you 42.400 liters now let's compare 42.400 liters with 39.75 liters well, which one is greater obviously 42.400 liters is greater so you again get the same answer that Jimmy sold a greater volume of juice than Ricky. So it doesn't matter whether you convert everything to milliliters or liters, you still get the same answer. All right, uh, that brings us to the end of this word problem. For more word problems and to see how good you're getting at math, do visit www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.